the line in the carol that we're gonna look at just for a few minutes is born to raise the sons of earth. First of all, I'm gonna read a passage from 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter four, beginning at verse 13. And now dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died. So you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who've died. And then moving on to verse 16. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. First, the Christians who have died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. So our theme really is resurrection born to raise the sons of earth and we read what Paul has to say in these verses about resurrection. The story is told that in India in March 1979 the Indian Prime Minister Mr Moraji Desai informed Parliament that J. Prakash Narayan who has, was a great patriot and elder statesman of India had died in a Bombay hospital. The Prime Minister delivered a moving eulogy to Parliament. Flags were lowered to half-mast. The shops were closed. The schools were closed and the children sent home. The entire nation plunged into mourning for about an hour because there was one person who was more shocked and more surprised than all the millions who heard the news on the media and in Parliament and in the other places. And that was Mr. Narayan lying there in his hospital bed convalescing. You see, he hadn't died. It wasn't a case that he'd been raised to life again. He'd never died in the first place. It was a mistake in communication that had led the Prime Minister to make that announcement. Now our not reading reminds us of a real resurrection. The best news the world ever had came from a graveyard. And these verses offer us hope. We are not a people without hope. And yet we all know how easy it is to lose hope to become despondent when we look at the situation in the world the places the many places of conflict that we read about that we see on our tv screens the situation in our own country both economically we see the food banks are as busy as they have ever been we see difficult political problems and it is easy for us to to lose hope to become despondent Where's all this going to end? And then we consider the situation about health and illness and bereavement. And people can challenge us and say to us, where's God in all of this? Why does God allow all this to go on? And we can live in fear of these things. They can just weigh us down quite heavily. But what the Apostle tells us here is we are not a people without hope. How can he say that? Well, he reminds us with great confidence of three things. First of all, he says, since Jesus died, it's a fact. He's making it absolutely clear. But we know, secondly, that he was raised to life. In other words, he overcame. He broke through the barrier that death causes. But it doesn't end there. The apostle gets quite excited about all of this. 
because thirdly, when Jesus returns, he tells us, God will bring back the believers who've died and those who are still living will be caught up in the clouds. And it's not a question of, well, if Jesus returns, it's when. Since Jesus died, he was raised to life when he returns. So he's full of confidence. He had real hope. And then we're told we will be with the Lord forever. And he finishes the words by saying, encourage each other with these words. Warren Wiersbe tells the story about how a good friend of his, his wife, died. And when he saw him, he said to him, I'm so sorry that you're, you've lost your wife. And he said, I haven't lost my wife. He said, you can only lose something if you don't know where it is. And he said, I know where my wife is. You see, that man had real hope and real confidence in Jesus and his promises. Jesus' resurrection provides us with our hope. It is indeed the best world news the world has ever seen. Jesus was born to raise the sons of earth. As one writer put it, other men see only a hopeless end, but the Christian rejoices in an endless hope. The world has got a hopeless end. We have an endless hope. Let's pray, shall we? Father, you've raised us up together with Christ. Set our hearts and minds on things above, where he is seated in glory at your right hand forevermore. Amen.